break in one of the busiest weeks at the Colorado Ski Resort. And as we kick off spring skiing, remember that hitting the slopes right now can be different than that early season skiing. Yeah, News 5 Shayla Jordan is watching out for your safety from the ski shop with what we need to know. Bree and I were kicking off spring break this week. It is a great time to get out there, break out your skis and your snowboard, but there are some safety reminders you need to keep in mind because we're talking about spring skiing here. It's a totally different ball game. I'm joined by Rick this morning. All right, the first thing people need to know is the snow is going to be a little bit different when they hit the slopes this week. The snow changes so quick throughout the season. So just from February to March to April, we're seeing the crystals in the snow changing. So it grabs mm -hmm. that ski a little bit more. So, so as it grabs that ski, the skiers have a greater tendency of falling. So if you have not had your binding safety tested, make sure they get tested once a season. It's so important because every year we gain weight, lose weight, mm -hmm. increase in ability, or sometimes the binding just isn't ready to be released on that snow. So bring them into a certified technician. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look up your binding to make sure it's still serviceable by the binding manufacturers. So we have a list of bindings that if it falls on this list, we're great. If it doesn't fall on that list, it's too old and we cannot service that binding. So please get that checked. From there, your ski technician, he's gonna ask for your age, your height, your weight, your ability, and we're gonna come up with this, which is called your DEN number. That stands for the Deutsch Industrial Norm. Okay. Based on that number, we'll get, say, a setting of five. We'll set your binding to a five, and then we use a Newton meter uh, rating on here. So we set that to a five, and we're gonna test this binding. As we test this binding, we come up with a number. If that number matches what's in this book, we are good to go. If it's not, then we have to readjust, recalibrate to make sure that when you're skiing and when you fall, that the binding and the boot do release each other safely. So make sure you get that tested once a year. Um, the age of 50 is where we really need to get aggressive changing your binding settings because that's okay. where we decided to be old and brittle. So for my 50 year old skiers, make sure your bindings have been recalibrated for your age setting. And you bring up a good point, which is for our spring breakers, a lot of them maybe haven't been out this season yet. So this is the time for them to check that everything's up to par. Absolutely. If, you've, if you're just getting up for spring break, you haven't skied many days, make sure that binding is safe. We want you to come home safely and make this as safe as we can. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some really important information. And we have all these tips for you on KOA.com, of course, and the News 5 app. For now, watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Shayla Gerard in News 5. Thank you, Shayla. Well, get those bindings checked.